All right, I got three questions for you guys. The first question is, what's your favorite brand of Nicaraguan baking soda? The second question is, whose YouTube channel gives more away a month than the competition does a year? Third and final question, what's that catchphrase you just can't go to sleep at night without hearing your Grammy sing in the shower? Is it Rhino Crunch here today? And we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Me and Molt decided that we wanted to try to help some people get their umbrellas. For those of you who don't know, you get your umbrella in Fortnite by winning a game. So we decided to queue up for some random public matches. So here are the highlights from the hardest four hours of Fortnite I've ever played. All right, we got to carry him, Molt. Yeah, let's get him. All right, here's the challenge. Neither one of them can die. Me and you can die and play it out and spectate and coach. These guys can't die. We got to carry them to get their, their win. Yeah. <laughs> There's like five uh, teams going here. Yeah. You want to go? Let's just bait them. <laughs> <laughs> South side. South side, boys. South side. South side houses are clear. There's one guy here. We're going to bully him. Yeah. Dropping in here. Lower roof. Chest. Guys on the there's a guy on the second floor. Got an AR. Guy out back. He's down. I gotta heal up even I'm not gonna go. Oh no, who is this guy? I gotta heal up. There's a guy out back that's knocked and there's a guy inside that's super lit. I'm healing up. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Knock one. One more up front. Alright, I got six bullets. I'm gonna try and take them. Okay. I'm coming. I got six bullets. We'll make a count. There he is. Got him. Nice. Whoa, behind us, behind us. By the gazebo in a bush. Whoa, and by the and by the I'm gonna go down. I don't have any ammo. Got him. Nice, nice, Where's nice, the gazebo nice. bush guy? Uh, I think he died with all no, that. No, 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 no. He's hiding. He's pretending like he's not alive. He's trying to push. He's trying to push. All right, I got to get inside. I don't have any ammo. Um, I'll try and find some. Bushman is uh, Bushman's trying to be sneaky, dude. <laughs> well, I, got right, I got a shotgun. I got a shotgun. We got to push this guy. Yep. Uh, on me, on me, on me. I need, I need backup. Yep. I hear a whole bunch of people walking. Got him. Nice. Where the heck is our, our teammates are all over there? They're just we're just carrying him. I'm gonna push. I, yeah, I'm gonna heal up real quick. How many kills you got? Two. I got four. Beautiful. Nice. Hey Good. Alex and Bear, how you guys doing? <laughs> they're coming over to us now. Now oh now they're coming towards us. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah. alright, thanks guys. <laughs> they're probably in their own Discord. No, they're probably really new and don't know how to use a microphone. Uh, they're leaving. Can we go with them? Yeah, we gotta protect them. That's part of the challenge. All right, let's go. <laughs> no, slow down. Are they actually leaving, Alex? Yeah, look. Bear. Hey guys, hold up. We gotta, we gotta, we got plenty of time, dudes, to loot. There's another uh, chest up here. Like, are they, are they serious right now? Yeah, they're gone. They oh gone. My God. <laughs> All right, let me get this other chest and I'll catch up. Someone's right, running I'm, up on my building. Yeah, no, that's me. That's me. I'm hanging with you just to make sure you're not so low right. in case there's other people left. Oh, I'll they might loot. be hitting up the. Uh, no, they're literally just dipping, dude. Do you have any bandages? <laughs> yeah, I got one. That's all. I need to find I'll some just... bandages. All right. Uh, here's some right in here. Beautiful. Dude, these are guys are kind of bad teammates. Hey, Alex and Bear, <laughs> wait up, boys! <laughs> guys, this is a team. We're playing squads, not duos. <laughs> right, let's go catch up with them. You look cute. This in is that hard. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Surprised you saw me with my epic <laughs> camouflage. Dude, that guy was so funny. I'm like, where's the bush at? And I just see the top of his leaves rustling above the other side of the wall. You're like, I'm pretty sure he's dead. He, 
Oh uh, man, if I wouldn't have <laughs> saw that, I'd be like, yeah, he's probably dead. Sneaking around. Yeah, I thought he dropped because, I mean, if you have three kills and I have two, that means that we're missing a couple people. Alex and Bear. <sighs> Dude, this is going to be the hardest carry ever. If they're not even, like, responding or, like... <laughs> Okay, one of them turned around. Uh, Bear did, or at least he's facing this way. Yeah, I think they're looting uh, they're some so houses. They're so noob, dude. They're, no, you know what it was? Is They're terrified of the blue, I think, and they wanted to get in the circle quick. Yeah. Uh, that You did good by marking, though. They stayed by the marker. I didn't even think to do that. Yeah, they're just hanging out in that little thing. Oh, my God. Are they actually hiding in a shack, dude? These are the guys <laughs> we have to carry. The shack hiders, dude. <laughs> No. Man, I need some health. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, yo, green AR. Uh, what up? I'll, okay, you got it. Do you want it? No, no, no. It's all you. I'll, I'll do the gray uh, I'll do the gray only challenge this round. <laughs> <laughs> the gray only non-responsive teammate challenge. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, it's 2017, people all have microphones on their computer, they, I don't understand why they're not talking. Yeah, I, they probably just turned chat off too, because, um, sometimes you can turn the chat off, there's, uh, nothing in here. I guess we should stay in the river with them, what are they doing? Oh my god, yeah, they need to get out of the river. How long until one of them gets down, do you think? Uh, I'm surprised that... Well, it looks like one of them was getting shot at. Maybe they have some kills. I mean, we'll never know, really. Really? There's no way of knowing. Oh, <laughs> uh, did you hear... I heard... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I just heard tri burst. Yeah, over to the east, yeah. 105. They're, are they running away from it? I think they are. Uh, they're looking. Oh, I see them. Uh, top of the hill. Top of the hill east, directly in front yep, of yep, you. Yep. Once, twice, knocked yeah, him. I hit her once. There you go. Here, you push. Staying low. His buddies, yeah. buddies coming. Yeah, one. Uh, there's another one down in the field right there. Killed the other one. Nice. They got two They're down. Yeah, yeah. I think someone's on top of that building east. Up. Oh, yep. Yeah, right behind us at the at the bush by the shack. Dang, he headshot. Come on, there's guys. There's two bushes. There's two bushes. Come oh, on, guys. Man, it sucks. We're both down. They might. They no, might Alex, to your right, Alex. What is Alex oh, doing? There's two bushes. Oh, look at the other bushes coming. Look, Dang. look where Bear is going. Bear is just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm done. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Get away from me. Get away from me. Go. No, you're All giving right, us you're... away. I'm going up. Go, I'm going go, up. go, go, go. You bait. I'm going to go hide in a bush. <laughs> Hey, Bear, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, your teammates are all down, and uh, we could use your pickup, buddy. <laughs> no! Oh, he's back! No, he's fighting other people entirely! <laughs> he's went for ah! an airdrop! <laughs> Dude, he went for an airdrop. He's about to drop two people over here. No, he's down. <laughs> no, he's not about to drop two people. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Attempt yeah. <laughs> number one of the uh, carry a, a fan challenge. Hola! Que bueno! Que paso, mi amigos? <laughs> oh, this is going to be a rough one. <laughs> Oh, he said donde. He said donde. Retail roll. Retail. Aquí. Oh no, our other team. Okay, good, he dropped. <laughs> I like how he said donde, though. <laughs> I love. <laughs> Looks like love, they're going retail. I love how. Yeah. 
I love how we get a crew with no mics, and then we do get a crew with mics. And guess what? They don't even speak the right language. Yeah. Or not the right language, just our language. Yeah, let's bully this guy. Bully this guy. Oh, he's, getting this bullied. he's getting bullied up top. Oh, I'm coming over to y'all. There's somebody over here. I'll bounce. I'd rather stay together and have one with loot than give wreck. Somebody outside. Yeah, there's a guy right here with a with a chuck with a uh, sub. Yo, he's almost dead. Don't you dare kill me. No! Oh my! <laughs> what in the <clears throat> world? Did you get racked, Malt? It was a man, though. Yeah, some machine gun to the face. The guy was sitting outside of our building. And then he just. Rito Crunchy! Silly. <laughs> he just said silly. <laughs> Y'all can keep playing. I'll watch. I don't care. Mendy, how do you mean this? Coach, I, I only know I know limited Spanish, man. So this is gonna be a rough Three. one. I love how they take the bandages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you good, <laughs> guys. You good? You got? Hey, you got any extra bandages? Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Why did he finish you, by the way? Ah, uh, because he's a, a jerk. jerk. Gracias, señor. <laughs> You're welcome. Necesito otra arma. Ven para acá, mi amigos. Como dice más, aquí hay un cofre. They're probably talking about you. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, I heard him say but. Wait, wait, hold on. See. I'm really trying to figure out what they're saying. Vamos a understand. Ya lo cogí yo. Okay. No, no, I'm a sur. Alright, I'll pull up Google Translate. <laughs> I've never seen that big bass on the front of that building. Oh. Where, where, where? I just yeah, yeah, bullet, just do me a favor, Maul, do me a favor, do me a favor. W watch one of their perspectives and then tell me if they see somebody because then you can... Alright. Oh yeah, right next to me, right next to me. Knox. Dos mas, dos mas, aquí, amigos. Dos mas, uno mas. Oh. That's all right. Yeah, he's trying to get away. <laughs> 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 How? Almost it's, there. It's tw it's 2017, man. Wait, look where they marked. Why did they mark yeah, right let's, there? Let's mark. Let's go, Dusty baby. <laughs> no, let's go, Greasy. Hey, we're gonna jump, Greasy guys. Greasy Grove. Just watch and see if they fall or not. Yeah, we, we might have to. Who jumps, Dusty dude? Like, yeah, oh they're my jumping. God, they're jumping, dude. <laughs> what are we? 
<laughs> Dusty! <laughs> and then look, they didn't even mark Dusty. They marked like some random buildings. To, yeah, look, they're not even going to Dusty. You going to the factory? No, they're going to this building right here. <laughs> 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 Yo, they're uh, on this, this is building. Gonna be so hard, dude. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be a scar in there and a scar in this little thing. Two up legendary here. scars. Watch the new meta is that building. They know something <laughs> we don't. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll come over to you. I got a pistol. I got, a, worry, I got a gun. Oh, somebody dropping right in between us on the hill. Where? Uh, there never mind. They're, they're pushing 195. They're pushing to the south towards those buildings. They were so low. Oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. I hit him twice. He's messed up. On top of the building? I'm, I mean, I might as well just ask people on Discord. If they want to play? Yeah. Directly yeah, on my go. 255. Let's go. 255. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want to get him? Right, right, right. He's got a pumpkin launcher. Knock. I'm pushing with you. Down. One more over by the ridge. I only have one bullet. I'm down. Got him. Oh, you're, you're down, right? Yeah, he's on the roof. I'm trying to move so he doesn't shoot me. I'm knocked. He's so late. He's it. one shot if our team I is know. here. They're not even anywhere near us, too, dude. Look at where they're at. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. We just did work on those guys, too. I got two I kills. Oh, I know. Oh, this guy's throwing grenades now. Uh, oh, no. Not like this, Bob. <laughs> All right, dudes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, before we go today, I just want to thank all of you for your crazy support on the channel. I love you guys. I asked you guys if you want to hear a Sunday uh, Christian Christian video, and a lot of you said you did. Like a crazy amount of you want to see that. Unfortunately, I don't. Like I really just don't have the time to do an additional Sunday video. I apologize. It's good to know that you guys would like to see it. Maybe in the future we can do that. But so instead of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend these Sunday videos. I'm going to take more time to talk about scripture over gameplay, and I'm just going to freely talk. I try to keep it short and sweet on the weekdays, but these Sunday, these Sunday videos, I'm going to go longer and I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth interpretation and just sharing. And I hope you guys can appreciate that. And so today we're going to get into one of my favorite parables. This is one of my favorite parables. For those of you who don't know, the parables are just like the poems or not even poems. They're like metaphors that Jesus gave. And this is absolutely one of my favorite ones. This is the parable of the prodigal son or the lost son. And this is Luke 15, 11 through 32. And these are Jesus's words, by the way. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all that he had, set off for a distant country, and squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country, who sent him to the fields to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare, and I am here starving to death? I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. So he got up and went to his father. But... While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. 
Meanwhile, the elder son was in the field. When he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing, so he called one of the servants and asked, What's going on? Your brother has come, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he is back and safe and sound. The elder brother came angry and refused to go in. So his father went out and pleaded with him, but he answered his father, Look, all these years I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders, yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But with the son of yours who has squandered your property with prostitutes comes home, you kill the fattened calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Oh, this is such an amazing, amazing parable. So we're going to simplify it really quickly. Two brothers, first brother goes off, spends all of his stuff, has to get a job, starts working a job, realizes that the animals that he's feeding are eating better than the servants at his father's house, goes to try to go home, is seen from afar off, forgiven by his dad, party is thrown, other brother gets jealous about the party, and dad shows compassion for his other brother, letting him know that, we had to celebrate because your brother was dead and now he's he's alive again. This is an amazing, amazing parable. It applies in so many ways. I think there's a couple important things to mention that I really like. While he was afar off, while he was a long way off, he, like, the, the father forgave him before he was even home. He wasn't even, like, I don't think he was within visual range. Like, he just knew, like... Because this is, this is a metaphor, I think, for a lot of us when we screw up and we forget who our dad is, right? And we forgive the abundant amount of grace that God had, the never-ending grace, the never-ending forgiveness, and the never-ending love that'll never keep us separated from our father, right? And we're not from here. I hate to break the news, guys. Listen, we're not from this planet. I know this is going to sound crazy. Just saying that sounds weird, but we're not. God knew us before the world was made. Our souls are, listen, our bodies from here, from dust we are and dust we will return, but our souls are not of this world, okay? So when we die, the only thing that we take with us is our soul and our spirit, and that goes to heaven from where it came. And while we're here, if we're going to live and we're going to live like wild men and keep making withdrawals out of our soul and out of our spirit we're just going to be desolate like the the prodigal son we're going to be with nothing and i think this is just a great metaphor for god's forgiveness for us and it, you know he says his son wasn't dead his son wasn't dead okay he he says your 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 brother was dead and he's alive again it's a huge metaphor he he had a job he wasn't living that good but he wasn't dead it's a metaphor for his spiritual death, and this is a metaphor for our spiritual death and how God rejoices when we come to our senses and we come back to him. We get that clarity of mind, of body, soul, and spirit, of not sinning, of living consciously to glorify God as soldiers on the ground for him. And that clarity is huge. You know, a lot of times the enemy tries to fog your mind try to confuse you with things. Oh, that's not really sinning. Uh, that clarity is huge, guys. Like when you get that clarity of Christ and you know directly God is directly influencing your choices, it's it's celebrated in heaven, guys. Guys, I want you here to have a wonderful Sunday. I encourage you to just, again, appreciate the time with your family, guys. It's just, it goes by so quick, like in a blink of an eye. And these are the moments right now. These are the moments that you have to appreciate because they go fast. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Don't forget, I upload every day. You can subscribe for free if you want to. And here's a couple extra videos if you want to watch more. Peace, guys.